he grew up in a little town called Brenton's Neck, which is about halfway between Conway, South Carolina, and Marion. So he was coming back home. I'll never forget when Coach Bergman told me that Tony had decided to come back home. We didn't realize how important the day that was. Tony Duncan could jump out of the gym. Tony Duncan could shoot with the best guards in the country. Tony Duncan is the Big South Conference's quintessential basketball player. To this day, he remains the only player in the history of NCAA Division I men's college basketball to be named his league's player of the year four times. He was also a three-time All-Big South Conference tournament selection. Tony Duncan was the first Big South player to eclipse the 2,000-point mark and finished his career in 1993 as the Big South's all-time leading scorer with more than 2,100 points, a record that stood for 14 years. He was an all-around player, though. I mean, he was a scorer, but he was a rebounder and a defensive player. He was a complete package. And I think, too, when he started playing so well as a young player, that Coach Bergman could go out and recruit and say, come join us with Tony because we go get there. So I think uh, he did a lot for Coastal's basketball. What he did was put Coastal Carolina on the national stage. In the 1991 NCAA tournament, Duncan and Brian Penny led Coastal to a near upset of number two seed Indiana in the NCAA tournament. Duncan was on the map. It seemed like every time you went to see Tony play, you knew he was going to get his points. You knew he was going to play well. I don't ever remember seeing him play a bad game. I think looking back through the years since Coastal started basketball, even up today, that we've had some good basketball players, but it seemed like we've never had a player like Tony Duncan. 